Think about it, Jeffrey, all right? Talk to the management about this damn poor security. Don't give us no smart mouth, man. Just thinking out loud. Don't think. Just listen, spadehead. I'm paying very close attention. So what? Did your pal the colonel want? He thought I might be interested in a job. Are you? Not at all. I'm retired from his line of work. Very much so. Did he say what it was? Not a word. And I had no desire to ask. Amazing. A banana with brains. Get over by the car. Move. Yeah, come on, boy, move. Okay, hold it right there. You ever think of changing your mind? Just remember, we start on you again, right where we left off. <coughs> Don't forget. thing. Hey, it stopped. Now, let me try. Stop, you crazy, not the alarm, man. We gotta get out of here. Damn it. Hey, let's try the hatch. Give me a lift. Who are you working for? We don't know. <laughs> Whoever he is, I suggest you tell him I take orders from no one. No punks like you, not the Colonel, not even Washington. Nobody. Yeah, okay. hey, we got it. We got the message. If I see either of you two, this is where I take up. Listen, I'm having second thoughts about your problem. You weren't my only visitor tonight. Mm-hmm. Unpleasant. It could have been if they meant to whack me out. 
just unpleasant socially, is that it? Just a warning. What about? You. What else? Oh, don't be so damn ridiculous. You already know I'm a first-class bastard. Yeah, I know that. So let's talk. I'll have a car pick you up at LaGuardia Heliport. At 10 a.m. Napier, my exec. Luigi. Chop, are you up to date on the space shuttle? They're testing the prototypes right now. And there's been some spy flacco with Princeton Research. How about the solar shuttle? Just projection. It's the natural progression of the SS-1. Instead of the Earth to Moon ferry, the SS-2 will operate between the Moon and the other planets in the solar system. Uh-huh. So what's the problem? That, my friend, is what is about to be revealed. Come on. see him about that, say, uh, about Saturday next week. Okay, fix it up then. Goodbye. Mr. Joyce, you know Colonel Duncan and Vince Napier? Of course, nice Hi. to see you again. And this is Joffrey Graves. Delighted you could join us, sir. Hope to hell you can help us. Sit down. Dick, I guess you could start. Right, let's take a look at the characters. Sure. Dr. Alfred Halstead. With Mrs. Halstead. She died of cancer about six months ago. This is a letter from Dr. Halstead demanding $500,000 from us. For what? Northeast Aerospace forks over, or he delivers our basic plans for the solar shuttle design to our competitors for the NASA contract. Plain industrial extortion. Would your competitors play ball? Things have become a lot more complicated than that, I'm afraid. The Colonel here and Mr. Joyce will explain that end of the business. Yeah, well, Dr. Halstead was our top research man. But when Congress cut NASA's budget, we got hit too. It gave us a chance to let Halstead take a vacation. He's got an emotional problem. Yeah, he's also got family troubles. We're convinced what he needs is medical attention. Psychiatric. Grant events. But what's the company reaction to the extortion business? Everybody's prepared to make payment. But the picture's changed a little. Halstead's gotten himself a third party to act as intermediary for the payment. Well, we all want to get to Halstead to give him the help he needs. Top priority is finding out who's taking over the operation from Halstead. Come on, come on. Everybody's beating around the bush. What you're really worried about, has Halstead revealed any confidential information? Sure, Jeff, sure. That's the number one problem. We know that, sure. But, gentlemen, we do have another one. The price has gone up 100 times over. They're demanding $50 million or, quote, equal compensatory concessions from Washington. Start, gentlemen. Mm, usual Vanderhump, please. Make that too, huh? The very fine South African liquor. Yes, I know. All right, I'll go along with the others. So that's why I'm qualified for the job. South Africa, huh? You did do a tour down there, Joffrey. What made you just sign to play ball? Those gunzos who worked me over last night. They had a very strong mob smell. You figure the 50 mil will go into the junk bank? Maybe there's a new route. The African connection. Halstead's first extortion letter was airmailed from Zurich. This one was mailed in Johannesburg. Our labs have checked it out. Paper quality, typography. The lettering is from the Cape Times. They won't bear bonds delivered there. Oh, 
Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> million in negotiable securities, I might just be tempted to take the money and run. <laughs> I should think that would be out of character, Joffrey. Cheers. Hotel hearing right, please. Yes, sir. I say you took the wrong turn, driver. Sir? This isn't a route to the hearing grot. But you're not coming to meet a hotel, sir. You're coming to meet a gentleman. Isn't this true, sir? You seem to know more about it than I do. So we play it your way. they give you to bring me here. Ten rand, sir. Here's 20. I like your smile. Oh, great. So good of you to come. Good of you to meet me. Yeah, let me take that bag. Oh, sorry. Yes. Oh. But you did bring the goodies, didn't you? As directed. Good chair. Thank you for coming, Mr. Graves. Dot in Dienst. Please, make yourself comfortable. to fear, Mr. Graves. It's impossible for us to be observed. What about Dr. Halstead? You deliver us the security and you'll find him waiting for us in the upper station. is on the upper level. I'll eat every page there. You seem to be anticipating everything, Mr. Graves. Including this, perhaps. Not exactly. An instrument devised by the man, too. Would you please stand up and grasp the straps? The bicycle spoke goes into the armpit through the third and fourth rib. The target being the aorta. Even the closest autopsy will reveal only a heart attack. Genius. I think he should take his jacket off the act. Yes. We don't want to appear messy, Mr. Graves. Would you kindly? I was going to suggest the same thing myself. Ah! Ah! 
You just have to tell me where he is. I don't know where he is. You shouldn't go making bargains you can't keep. I imagine on the way down you remember where he is. As God is my witness, I swear I don't know. I, I get my instructions. I saw my radio. From whom? Someone called Reagan. Where is he? Country. More specific. The last call I had was from Durban. All right, that's close enough. Please. Here's the word. Joffrey made a contact in Cape Town. And he'll be on his way to Durban tomorrow. Long Island to Zurich, Zurich to Johannesburg, Johannesburg to Cape Town, Cape Town to Durban. Halstead's movements are getting stranger and stranger. Yeah. Listen. Yeah? Is there a racetrack in Durban? Yes, sir, too. Gravel and Clarewood. Why? You know damn well why. I don't want you to start gambling and screw up your life again. Colonel, I haven't bought a lottery ticket in the past three years. I don't even look at the horses in Central Park. You better stay clean, Vinny, my boy. Sure. Get on down to Durban. Tell him you're taking over as his controller. He may not be too happy about that. His happiness is my least concern. Make a reservation. Wire him, tell him where to contact you. Oh, and Vince, keep in touch. Okay. Ah, there you are. Uh, oh, it won't be long now. I've ordered us a final and farewell round, Mr. Graves. Bourbon, are you sure you need another? Uh, you've been such good company. Just one for the road, my boy, huh? <laughs> All right, you insist. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. uh, I've ordered us a farewell round, Mr. Graves. That will be scotch and soda for you, Bert. Yes, right, thank you. And scotch and water for you, Mr. Graves. Uh. Will that be all, gentlemen? Ah, no, that's just fine, thank you. I'll announce our Durban arrives in plenty of time. Oh, good, that'll be nice. Where would you say we are now, Reverend? Yeah, we're pretty close to the city. We're long. <clears throat>
You fouled it up. Our phony priest is dead. I don't know what you're talking about. I gave him the bottle you gave me. Damn it, they must have got their glasses mixed. Well, don't blame me. I just did what you paid me for. Listen, get this into your head. Tommy's dead and you're the one who served the drinks. I just did what you told me to do. Well, we are sure as hell can't leave it behind here. You'll get graves. You grab the suitcase. What's the news on the Nova train? Oh, it's arrived, thank you. What are we supposed to do with this one? Just like before. Question him. Find out what he heard from Van der Vlees. What do you think went wrong back there? The good reverend got some of his drink. Barbitrates on top of a load of alcohol. Lethal. What are we going to do with her? That dear heart remains to be seen. Are you calling Reagan, Doc? Uh, yeah, I'm expecting a signal in uh, 10 minutes. You, take your coat off and roll your sleeve up. I think, I think you must have, have hijacked the wrong body. Uh -huh. We know we got the right body. What we want to know is what you know. Anybody got a smoke? <laughs> it can be dangerous to your health, boy. You mind? Oh, Come on. Boy, you are some dude. Which flavor do you prefer, Mr. Graves? Under the circumstances, wrong. Miss Kellis, you're now between the devil and the deep, deep blue. Meaning what? I mean, if you'd done a better job in resealing the little bottle, you wouldn't be here. It's too late for that now, isn't it? What are you going to do with me? As I said, on the one hand, you got the blue. 
They want to talk to you about whacking out the priest or whatever he was. And on the other hand? That's me, baby, the devil. Doc is my only live contact now, and you are my only contact to Doc. So what do you want me to do? Play ball with me, and I'll tell the police I gave him the dose of chlorohydrate. All I know is some holy man bought it on the train. Hard, they say. No, Colonel, I didn't ask to see the body. Look, Colonel, I may have my vices, but I'm not a ghoul, huh? Oh, hold it. Here he's now. I call you again at 6 p.m. your time. I don't like any of this sneaking around. I don't like it one bit. Here's the phone. You want to call the law? It's your neck. Yeah, that's right. It's my neck. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. Ah, Vince, good to see you. Hi. Thanks for the reservation. I like the room. Oh, you do, huh? I'm, I'm glad you do. Now, would you just tell me what the hell's going on? I mean, you're not on the train. All I find is some clergyman is dead. Clergy, courtesy of Brooks' costume. And then you show up with some bird on your hands. Pamela! It's okay. Come on out. Vince, this is Pamela, uh, Pamela Smith. Pamela? Vince Napier. Uh, can you just tell me how does she fit into the picture? Take it easy and I'll fill you in. Graves. Who? Uh-huh. What time? Good. I got to pick up a few things. Right. Who was it? Somebody calls himself Cretona. Milo D. Cretona. Don't worry. A contact is a contact. And I've always got Vince here to back me up. Hey there, Milo. Who said that? The gentleman you want to meet, I think. That you, Graves? Uh-huh. What's the message? Get your ass back to the States. Otherwise? Otherwise, we send the pieces back parcel post. That's an interesting concept. How do you work it out? On your feet, and I'll show you. Ah, uh, man. You sure are a big one. Every inch of you. I thought he was going to be a valuable contact so I can get out of all this. One good thing always leads to another. Beth, hmm. why don't you see about getting her room on the company? Yeah, if you really think we need her. We all need each other. Let's go. Well done, Mr. Graves. I watched you from the terrace. Oh? This is a wonderful place for meeting people. You don't need a social director. Is he badly hurt? Only his pride. 
there for a drink. What you got there looks good to me. Waiter, one more of the same, please. You're a friend of Milo's. He works for me. I work for Mr. Z. That's a name or an initial? His name, C Z double E. I'm afraid to ask what your name is. Or do you go by initials too? My name is Reagan. That's right. Regan. Regan O'Leary. I like your sense of humor. The joke was my mother's. But Mr. Z is no joke. And by now you should understand Mr. Z wants you to forget about the Colonel's assignment. People have been trying to convince me of that for weeks now. That's a slight exaggeration. But Mr. Z is a reasonable man. He's willing to give you back Dr. Halstead if you'll just pack up and get out of the whole business. Do I get Halstead alive or dead? Alive, of course, and in very good health. You've seen him recently? Just yesterday, while you were in route up here. You got a deal then, but only if Halstead's in his original condition. Very good, Mr. Graves. You're being very sensible. Do you care for fishing, Mr. Graves? Would I have time? Then make time. Tomorrow morning, sunrise at the marina. What's this all about? We'll need the boat to get your shuttle man, Dr. Halstead. I'll be aboard then. supposed to come up like Neptune out of the sea? Don't be so impatient, Graves. It won't be long. See, I told you, there they are. It's about time. Thank you. You're very kind. 
after Zurich. Zurich was wonderful. And then there was someone she said I must meet. We went to Durban. Changed planes for another flight. Where to? I, I don't know. You don't know where you've been for the past two months? No. Once aboard the plane, a, a Gulf Stream 2, I, I was blindfolded. How long was the flight? Four, five hours. After you got there, wherever it was? In a cell, injections, questioning day and night on end, total isolation. Who asked the questions? My examiner was a voice on the loudspeaker. He knew his mathematics well. Was he able to get any information? I don't know. I, uh, I just don't know. You didn't have contact with anybody else all that time? Not a soul. Sometimes I heard voices unintelligible natives, odd phrases of bastardized French. No other contact with the outside world? Every other day, a 727 flew overhead about noon. You sure it was a 727? Sir, aircraft and space are my business. Good, good. You've been very helpful. And there's not a thing to worry about now, doctor. Just rest easy. Good night. Thank you once again. Good night. How is he? Well, coherent anyway. No sign of Vince yet? Look, if it's going to wind up this whole thing now or what? Not by a long shot. Hi. Any problems? Little. The boss and the FBI guys are still covering the hotel. Did you move her out? Yeah, no, the Thousand Hills Motel. Good. Book me a room. And if we have to, we use it as a headquarters. OK, but, but I don't follow you. I mean, you've got Halstead. What more do you want? The number one. Halstead would never be the same again. They broke him and the agreement. Pam, used to book tours. Yeah, about a million years ago, but I... Then get your hands on an airline guy. Vince, I'm going to need a super telephoto. See if you can scrounge just a Quest star and a camera. Oh, great. While we're running errands? I'll be giving myself geography lessons. See you tomorrow. OK. Well, let's go. Hello. Hi. Here's your OIAG. And the quest start. That was quick. You two make a good team. Wasn't easy. What the hell's all this about? You planning to start a war? Now, Halstead leaves Durban on a Gulf screen. Cruising speed, 300 miles an hour. Flight duration, four to five hours. He didn't crash in Atlantic, Angola, Rhodesia. Not likely, because he could hit a surf. Then it's an island. It's an island in the uh, Indian Ocean. You were meant for better things than serving drinks. Exactly. An island where the language is French. Madagascar. Mauritius or Reunion. It's a hell of a lot of ocean. A lot of islands. We've got more going for us than that. We're looking for an airline that flies 727 over our islands on alternate days around noon time. Make a right turn, reverse your direction. Are uh, you convinced this is the island, huh? Look, there's a private airfield. And the villa here, that shortwave transmitter. They can reach any place in the world with power like that. Okay, I'll buy it. 
Colonel said full support, so I'll lay on the transfer. Huh? How's Pamela holding up? Stiff up the lift and all that. Good. Tell it won't be much longer. Okay. See you later. Huh? Okay. down by the beach. Let's go. Looks like a lot of work. Good morning, Mr. Graves. Morning. We were expecting you last night. My apologies. You may release him. Check him out. I doubt you'd have the same look with this pain. One, yes. Two, I'm undecided. Stay. Come with me, then. It's become evident to Mr. Z that neither threats nor force nor returning Dr. Halstead will deter you. So we've decided to employ a different tack. 
How about bribery? <laughs> I'm glad it was you who brought up such a dirty word. Come. Our research people have come up with the information that you're quite an authority on wheels. Recognize the model. It's a Lamborghini Espada. Consider it a small gift from Mr. C. Like to get the feel of it? I'd love to. I think you'll find the trunk even more interesting. A last surprise from Mr. Z. Visas for Argentina, Burma, Indonesia, Iraq. Take a pick. And all up to date. An impressive organization, Mr. Z. <laughs> Fifty thousand of them. Fifty thousand more when you reach your destination. You mind if I give it a trial run just to see if it fits my lifestyle? <laughs> Not at all. If you want to run it down to the dock, there's a ferry leaving for the mainland. Just half an hour. I'll give you a report on it, one way or the other. Enjoy your trip. <laughs> as a bomb any day. Maybe this is going to hurt me more than it does you. <laughs> well, there goes that smart ass. Make sure he's a corpse. Bring me back his head, at least an ear. Go! Sorry, you missed it, but I thought you'd be tired after your trip. What did I miss? 
the untimely demise of Mr. Graves. You're joking. <laughs> Not a bit. A very careless driver. You know, something like this just makes my whole day. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Have a nice cold drink. He should have seen his face when he saw the car. He knew the make and model. He seemed very impressed. And the money. <laughs> oh, when we went around the trunk and opened that suitcase, that is what sold it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll get it, Sing. <laughs> Liz Greer here. What? Make sure he gets to the warehouse. Doc, go pick up Bill and Sue. What happened? I don't know what happened. Graves is on his way to the warehouse. You get your ass down there now. Now! Thank you. Taxi, you got time to make the ferry? Yes, sir. So lucky this time. kept you so long.
My, my, Mr. Z's private air force. We enjoy a certain mobility. I like the looks of that jet. Got my wings in one of those. Now, don't get any grandiose ideas. Where are you going? You ain't gonna need any wings to fly. <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Gray. You do lead a charmed life. Better rig up, boys. It's gonna be a rough trip. Where are we going? Reunion Island. More specifically, Le Piton de la Fernays. Eye of the Furness. That's right, and it's damned hot. Get in. Move. Get rid of that truck, will you? You see a ghost? Yeah, well, we had taken you for dead. Yeah. <laughs> Vince, too? Where is he? Well, he's in his room. Oh, you two playing house. Oh, I'm asinine. Well, look, this whole central operations thing was your idea, anyway. Yeah. Well, let's go talk to him. Well, you let me know as soon as you find out, huh? Okay. Uh, more later, I'll stand by. My God, Joffrey. We thought you'd bought it. It was a long trip back. What do you mean? What happened? I'm going to need a few things for the next trip. For the next trip? You mean you're going back again? Right now, I'm going to get some sleep. I've got a room right down the line. And Vince. Yeah? Give me a couple of hours. Then we'll talk. Okay, right. Now, this is fixed to the frequency you gave me from the shack, so don't worry, huh? Okay. Good luck. Button it up, let's go.
don't care what the Prime Minister says. We told him 2%, and that's it. Barbara. Take me, sir. Can you get a room right away from me? Here are the latest figures from Germany. Would you Where's Mr. Z? Waiting for you. Ah, our annoying friend, Mr. Graves. I'm afraid so. But I admire his persistence. Persistence? He's a genuine 24 karat pain in the ass. We all have our idiosyncrasies. Hold it right there. Whatever you say, Mr. Graves. Whatever you say, your wish is my command. You wanted to see Mr. Z? You get your wish. See if you think it's worth it. Sing, take him to Mr. Z. All right, girls, show's over. Get those phone calls going. Back to work. Come on, back to work. Give us a few moments along, Mr. Singh. Certainly, sir. You're awfully bothersome, Mr. Green. Why do you keep it up? It's my assignment. All right, you've completed it. But what's that got to do with concessions from Washington? Let's call them favors. I want to expand my interests to the Caribbean, Central, and South America. You seem to be doing well enough right now. Enough is never enough. You demonstrate that yourself. To get into these markets, I'll have to break into government monopolies. So you want pressure from Washington? Precisely. The threat to withhold a little economic aid here, a little military aid there. Listen, if you could offer me a million dollar bribe, why the hell you need more countries to rip off? You missed the point. It's not quite that simple, Mr. Gray. You see, money is hardly the incentive. Power, that's the ultimate thrill. Control, power, it's more stimulating than anything you can imagine. Where does Halstead fit into that dream? Dr. Halstead is of no further importance to me whatsoever. Whatever knowledge he possesses is now mine. Dr. Halstead would never betray his country. My dear Mr. Graves, because of you, my timetable has to change. I have to move my base of operation. I shall relish a proper disposition for you. Put him in the guest room, Mr. Singh. Very well, Mr. Z. Good night, Mr. Graves. Please. Yes. No. It's impossible. I am Van der Vies. No. No. You couldn't have survived that fall. I am his brother, Hanrecht. It was a cruel way to die. I'm sorry. I really am about your brother, I mean. But I didn't kill him if it makes any difference. No. I'm here to tell you that tomorrow, your death will be very slow and very cruel. I hope you know how to pray, Mr. Graves.
Vince. Hi there, Joffrey. Thank God. Come on, get me out of this loony bin. Uh, sorry about that. Can't do that. When did you sell out, Vince? Last time when you were here, when he got away. How much are you getting? The same deal they offered you. I guess the Colonel was right about you after all, Vince. You're sick. I wouldn't say that. So? You too, huh, Pamela? You left me no choice. You kept putting me off, Jeffrey. At least Vince keeps his promises. And we're sharing the money. See? Here, come. If I were you, sweetheart, I'd worry about myself. Okay, okay. Let's get the hell out of here. We've got a lot of work to do. Come on.
band. The spirit's going crazy trying to reach you. Get on the phone and call. Go ahead, call. Position and get the girls way back down the road. Okay, you guys, what's it now? What's it now? Okay, the square wants to do a deal. All you're gonna do is name it. Whatever you want. As long as we can go up the transport and get out of here. No deals. The mercenaries put their guns down and Z turns over the tape and down quick. Now get. Damn you, Graves. I should have shot you at the rocks. Remember? I've got a truce flag here. I'll go and tell Miss Greer what you said.
Well done, old buddy. Really? 4-0. Nice work. Oh, hell. You think I enjoyed this? I don't like your games, Colonel. And those who are in the garage. Your idea, huh? To get me interested in this job. Well, it was a bit Machiavellian, I admit. But it seemed like the only way to get you on the case. Well, Colonel Sport, you did accomplish a great deal. Oh? Really? How so, Joffrey? I wrecked Mr. Z's whole apparatus. But he's fit to see. Damn. Well, I guess he'll surface again somewhere sometime. Not a complete loss. You'll find all of Halstead data on tape in the trunk of the road. They're all yours. Thanks a million, old buddy. Come on, Peter. What the hell's he doing? 